So what if I told you Samsung made a mid-range phone that's beating every flagship out there in one crucial way, yeah even the S25? Let me explain. So the Galaxy A57 leaks are here and honestly Samsung's playing 4D chess with this one. We have got some exclusive details that shows this phone isn't just another boring mid-range. First up, the Exynos 1680 chip. Now I know what you're thinking, another Exynos chip, cool story bro. But wait, this chip just got spotted on Bluetooth SIG and here is where things get interesting, it's coming with Bluetooth 6.1 support. And before you scroll away thinking that's not a big deal, let me break it down. Every single flagship right now, including the S25, the iPhone 16, all of them are running Bluetooth 6.0. The A57 will literally be the first phone in the world to feature the Bluetooth 6.1 in a mid-ranger, beating flagship to the punch, that's wild. So what does Bluetooth 6.1 actually do? There are two major upgrades. Number 1 way better privacy protection against tracking and number 2 instant power efficiency improvements. Your phone lasts longer, your Galaxy Buds last longer and your smartphone lasts longer, everything just works better together. Speaking of accessories, Samsung's dropping the Galaxy Buds 4 Pro with the S26 series and those are also getting Bluetooth 6.1. Now imagine the whole ecosystem running on this new standard, it's going to be smooth. Now let's talk performance, the A57 is getting XCliff 550 GPU upgraded from the 540 in the A56. This new GPU is built on AMD's RDNA 3.5 architecture which is also about power efficiency and better gaming performance. Look the Galaxy A series has always been about giving you that premium experience without destroying your wallet. The A56 has already been delivered with its 10-bit HDR camera, slimmer design and 45W charging. But with the A57 with Bluetooth 6.1, that Samsung saying we are not just competing in mid-range, we are setting a standard. Now more leaks are definitely coming and I will be covering every single one. But here is my question for you guys, would you pick the A57 with all these upgrades over a discounted older flagship because that's the real competition here? Let me know what you think in the comments and if you made this far, you are the real one. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.